Good evening and welcome to Midnight Movie Club and it feels meant to be saying that again. Due to being very ill the past couple of weeks I've been unable to upload but don't fret, I am back in what a way to come back with my first review of 2019. In tonight's video I review one of my most anticipated films of the year, Us. So without further ado, let's get into it. Us was written and directed by Jordan Peele, the mind behind 2017's Get Out, and the film stars Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Sadahia Wright Joseph and Evan Alex as our protagonists, the Wilsons. The film follows the Wilsons as they go on a beach vacation to their holiday home near Santa Cruz. The closer they get to Santa Cruz though, the more Adelaide Wilson's traumatic past comes back to haunt her and her paranoia intensifies. Once the family comes face to face with the doppelgangers of themselves, the serene family holiday becomes a brutal, bloody nightmare. So first off I want to talk about the performances in Us, the acting from everyone in the cast was terrific. Not only are they brilliant as their original selves, they are equally as brilliant as their tethered counterparts. Lupita Nyong'o's voice for her doppelganger was amazing, I was not expecting anything like that at all and the first time I heard her speak it gave me goosebumps. When it came to Winston Duke, I wasn't a fan of his actual character but the range in his performance was fantastic with what he brought. The same again with Shahadia Wright Joseph, she was my favourite character and I think her tethered creeped me out the most with her terrifying facial expressions. Then when it came to Evan Alex, I was very impressed with what this kid could show through his looks, the emotion he could convey and things he could tell us without actually saying anything. Also, whoever was underneath the mask crawling about as his tethered was awesome, they were literally like a human spider. Even the supporting actors we have here were great, Elizabeth Moss, Tim Heidecker and Noelle and Callie Sheldon who play the Wilson's friends the Tylers were out of this world. Everyone in the cast brought it and showed incredible range for what they can do. If someone had a tethered counterpart in this movie, they were just fantastic at being both normal and absolutely insane. So as I've covered, I really loved the performances in Us, but the characters themselves I wasn't the biggest fan of and I think this is down to some strange character decisions and motivations and a couple of things they decided to do just left me scratching my head. For the most part though, it wasn't to the point of where it took me out of the film. Now as far as pacing goes for the film, I felt like it was on point, especially in the first act. It did take its time to build up that creepiness and paranoia to help us understand and feel what Adelaide was feeling. When it came to near the end of the second act and into the third act though, I did feel that there were a couple of scenes where the pace was affected by the editing. There were a few scenes in particular where we would flash back and forward in time, giving us little tidbits of information we needed to understand what was happening in the present, but I felt these came at the wrong time and killed the tension that was present in that scene. This is where I started to think too much about why it was happening and how, instead of just watching the action that was happening, and learning from being shown, not told. Now this is where one of my biggest problems of the movie comes into play and it was the fact that we were being told a lot of what, when and why's in a big villain exposition type speech instead of just learning them naturally through watching. I would have much rather to piece it together myself instead of just being told everything in a big villain monologue. But that's just me personally. Moving on now and the plot itself is rather convoluted and when you really start to think about it and question some things, you see how far fetched it all seems and yes I know it's a film and it's all made believe but the more you question the reason behind a lot of the film's main plot threads, the more it all unravels. And for me personally, due to the story by the end of the second act and for the remainder of the third act, it just fell apart for me. There was just too much left to chance and too many things that don't make functional sense. There are some things that just have no purpose and they are there for no reason. Another thing in particular that bothered me was certain things being brought up and shown to have importance in the first act and then not being brought up or built upon later on in the film. For me that was pretty disappointing. 
but the technical aspects of Us were on point throughout the whole film. From the lighting, the cinematography, production design and effects, there were some really nice practical effects and when the action was kicking off on screen, it was brutal and bloody and I loved that. Also, when it came to the score, it was great. It was an enchanting concoction of haunting choir chants and creepy off-note keys with bells and chimes, and it felt really fantastical and mystical. I really liked the off-putting vibe it brung across, and as I said in the first act, it really was effective to slowly build that tension and paranoia. With the score being as brilliant as it was, I was left scratching my head as to why it was given a backseat so much to other songs that were chosen to play in serious moments of the film. This ties into the humour in us in places where I didn't feel that it fit at all. The tracks that they played were used in a comical way and in doing this offered too much relief in moments that should have been full of dread, but instead I'm banging my head to some NWA. It made no sense. It was choices like these that I felt let the film down. Some people may have loved their use, but I think the film would have been far more effective and horrifying if they were left out. So, with all that said, it is time for my first rating of 2019, and in this case, I am going to have to give us a 3 out of 5 rating. For me, Us was just above average due to the great technical attributes and just gets away with its convoluted plot and lack of all-round horror. There are some moments I genuinely really did enjoy, but overall, it's not a film I will be rushing back to see. Anyway, that's my review of Us. Let me know what you thought of the film in the comment section down below. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to join the club. It's good to be back. Good night.